Hello friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how artificial intelligence is transforming Azure Data Engineering. Whether you are a data engineer or a cloud enthusiastic or just curious about AI, this video will give you an idea like how AI might be impacting Azure Data Engineering world. So this is like a pure knowledge kind of a video. Uh, a practical demo or a practical project implementation with a live I will try to do it in upcoming videos so let's understand how actually a transforming this whole data engineering world so firstly what is data engineering I think you guys know it already but people who don't know let me quickly iterate what is data engineering or Azure data engineering so basically data engineering is nothing but like uh, designing uh, and building some scalable data pipelines uh, that will help you to take your business raw data and finally help you to transform the data to get insights from it and maybe develop some or power some power way reports from there that helps for the business decisions but but all this process if you do using the Azure services then you can call it like a Azure data engineering right so for an example let's assume you are running a retail business uh, and sales is happening across branches now you wanted to understand how the sales is happening in every branch how the inventory is going you need all this information so that you can take the further decisions but for that uh, data uh, or for the decisions to take you need this whole data from all the branches right basically you will build some pipelines uh, that will take the data from all these different branches or locations and keep it at one place maybe it may be a data like storage and on top of that uh, data you will use a data bricks or synapse analytics to transform the data because uh, the whole data you don't need it right you might need only a subset of the data that will give you the meaningful aggregated uh, information to you maybe this is the number of sales this is the total headcount of the employees this is the profit this is the loss all the details right you need that aggregated information so you will compile that and then business owner will take a decision accordingly like what he has to be uh, what has to be there do as a next step to further increase the business so this whole process is called data engineering and the data factory helps to build the pipeline synapse and data bricks helps to transform the data perform some analytics on top of the data and you data like storage generally helps you to store that whole data be it maybe a structured or unstructured data so, so the, the engineer uh, who does all these things called data engineer basically and uh, if that all job happened using Azure services which are listed in this slide like a data factory, synapse, data bricks and data like storage then that is called that is called nothing but like Azure data engineering. So now this is fine. So now we know what is data engineering. Uh, we wanted to know like uh, now we are hearing this buzzword called AI artificial intelligence how this AI helping this data engineering or shaping this whole data engineering world. So there are a couple of things I have listed on this slide for that particular point to address. Uh, basically in the whole journey of the data engineer, uh, he data engineers has to do the data cleaning. Uh, means a lot of data might be not helpful. We have to clean and take only the relevant data and also anomaly detection. Maybe data might be not correct. There might be some spikes up and low in the numbers which are unusual so we need to detect that kind of anomaly anomalies and we need to perform the data cleanings and all that stuff we used to do it manually or by writing some code before but now we can use ml models uh, that will in turn help you to, to to clean your data automatically and they automatically identify the anomalies in your data so that is one use case and another use case may be schema mapping so you have a data in source with certain columns and you have a data in in sync where it you want to move and the columns are different between source and sync so automatically a can figure it out which column to map which one and it will do the automatic schema mapping and intelligent data transformation there and predictive analytics uh, uh, the AI can continuously monitor your data and it can predict what how the numbers are uh, how the how the aggregated values might look like that predictions can be happen on top of the data using AI uh, not only that uh, if you have a large amount of a data now you want to uh, generate the insights from that data 
so you can use a, a ai there maybe azure open ai that will summarize the whole data and give you the insights from that whole big raw data so for example let's assume uh, you have a customer feedback so so many customers are giving lot of feedback which are lengthy sentences and phrases now you you instead of uh, sitting and reading those feedbacks you can use azure open ai to analyze that customer feedback and give you or generate you the sentiments back like how the customer sentiment is looking like so that is like a role of ai in azure data engineering now if you see this slide this slide talks about real time use cases for uh, ai usage in data engineer let's un let's if, if you take the retail business uh, where you if you have developed some data engineering solution there um, so retail business is nothing but like where you want to re you wanted to reach the customers with some products right so whenever you reach customers with products you can get a recommendations right you, you have a uh, customer behavior from the past you use the ai there on top of it figure it out uh, the, this customer is interested in so and so category of products so that categorization or personalization of the product recommendations can happen using ai there uh, based upon a customer behavior right so we no need to manually sit and understand the customer behavior uh, cust uh, ai will do that ai models will do that for you and ai model will actually suggest the recommendations also to the customer based upon his previous history or her previous history so that is one use case when when you talk about a finance industry uh, where you will have a lot of uh, um, of uh, fraud uh, there there might be a high chances fraud can happen with the finance industry right so usually uh, somebody has to sit and check continuously if anything is going wrong there but that fraud detection or or the anomaly detection or the dis anomaly means nothing but like a dis disturbance in the data any such kind of a things were happening uh, assume in your account regularly from past 2 years uh, the 1000 dollars or 2000 dollars that is a range uh, the account is holding the money and all of the sudden it started holding 1 million dollars so that is anomaly there right so why how come suddenly uh, a given account uh, is getting a huge amount of a dollars there right so that is anomaly ye can uh, continuously monitor every accounts and then it can flag this kind of anomalies to the somebody uh, who is uh, uh, who is more interested to uh, understand these frauds and uh, prevent them right so that kind of a fraud detection can be uh, uh, done using this ai very effectively now when you come to the healthcare industry uh, let's assume uh, we have the information about a patients uh, their health history and everything now based upon how the health history uh, for a given patient uh, ai can predict the future uh, future possibility of any sickness or illness to the to the patient and it can warn the patient accordingly so that predictive analytics on top of the patients can be done using ai now let's assume a media industry where uh, a lot of videos are getting created and surface uh, we wanted to understand every video and summarize the videos and accordingly tag the videos into certain categories few videos are something related to lifestyle few videos are something related to finance few are something related to tech so no need to somebody sit and watch those videos and and categorize them or tag them accordingly ai can do that for you there is something called azure ai content understanding uh, and it will it can understand ai uh, video content and it can perform the tagging on the videos on top of it for you so these are like a certain few few real time use cases where ai can help you um on top of this data uh, which you are, are on top of the data engineering solutions what you develop Uh, so that's it i think now with this you are confident enough to uh, understand or to answer somebody like uh, how ai is actually contributing to data engineering world so ai is not just a buzzword it is actually a powerful tool it is re reshaping how we handle the data in azure not only in azure in any cloud okay so if you found this video helpful uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe and also let me know in my comments uh, or in this comments on which azure topic or data engineering topic or ai topic i can explore and create a next video for you guys thank you for watching have a nice day